This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Delmarva Dental Services. Well, bad breath, it's nothing new. For thousands of years, people have been looking for ways to combat it. In fact, the ancient Greeks and Romans used different remedies to treat the problem, but nothing ever really seemed to work. Today, we've got mouthwashes, we've got breath mitts, but do they help? Brian Spiros went to Delmarva Dental Services in Salisbury, where he discovered there's more that causes to bad breath than you might think. Nobody wants bad breath, but it happens. The question is, how do you avoid it? Mints and mouthwashes and, uh, are temporary fixes. They're not getting to the cause of the problem. Dr. Joe Harmon is a dentist with Delmarva Dental Services in Salisbury. He says in order to treat bad breath, you need to know where it's coming from. First, there's your mouth. The causes in the mouth basically could be your teeth, your gums, your tonsils, or your tongue and you need to find out where it's coming from. If you have untreated cavities, it could be that. It also could be gum disease where you have bacteria hiding underneath the gums, creating gases that smell. You could have them hiding on your tongue surfaces and creating gases, or you could have them in your tonsils uh, creating gases, and so you have to find out the, the root of the cause. And if you or your dentist notices the problem coming from your mouth, there are ways to fix it. Brushing your teeth, flossing, and um, tongue scraping with a, either your brush or a tongue scraper are the main things you should do to prevent uh, oral, an oral cause of bad breath. Believe it or not, your sinuses can also be the source of the problem. Bacteria in your sinuses, uh, and sinuses is a big issue on the eastern shore, uh, or if you have bacterial post-nasal drip, it basically they're giving off sulfide gases that are coming from uh, your sinuses or dripping down the back of your throat. So it's coming through your mouth, but it's coming from the back of your throat. And if it's dripping continuously, then a mouthwash or a breath mint isn't going to solve that problem. You have to treat the cause, and the cause being the sinuses. Whether that be with a, a, a rinse, some, uh, in many ways, um, I recommend that you you rinse your nasal passages like your mouth because um, a lot of things pass through your nose and it's another place where bacteria can enter. If it is your nose or mouth, Dr. Harmon says very often something called biofilm is to blame. It's a layer of bacteria you find in certain parts of the body. Bad biofilm stays on moist surfaces and helps fuel bad breath. When you brush your teeth, you're actually scraping the biofilm off. When you're flossing, you're scraping the biofilm off. Dr. Harmon says there's something else that can help and is more effective. It's called xylitol. It's an ingredient found in mouthwashes and gums. It actually breaks away the stubborn biofilm in our mouth and sinuses. And to treat other forms of bad breath, you need to watch what you eat. Your stomach can also be the culprit. The main thing is, is from the foods we eat. Foods that are hard to digest, like meats with a lot of protein, uh, like uh, onions, uh, sardines, um, uh, sausages. Basically, when you're digesting them, they're giving off odors from your stomach and or your intestines, and it's coming up through your esophagus into your mouth. So one of the things you could do is just basically you either learn to live with it or you just need to avoid those kinds of foods. In fact, Dr. Harmon says the smell of these foods won't go away until they're completely digested. And then there are your lungs. Many times it's coming from your exhaled air, like especially if you drink alcohol. Uh, that's one of the reasons why a breathalyzer works, because the blood goes in, the alcohol goes in your blood and comes out through your breathing, and so does cigarette smoking. Dr. Harmon says if you do have bad breath and don't know what's causing it, let your dentist know so they can pinpoint the problem. And Dr. Joe Harmon says dentures can also be the cause of bad breath. Bacteria can get stuck in your dentures, which is why it's so important to make sure that you're cleaning them daily in a disinfectant solution. Very interesting information. Yeah, good stuff.